this tutorial, you'll learn how to get the selected item from a spinner as soon as the user changes it. For example, I have this drop down over here and when I select Washington, you can see that it immediately says you selected Washington. If I select another state like New Jersey, you can see it says you selected NJ. And this is what you'll be learning in this tutorial. To get started, I have this basic layout over here. The code is also in the GitHub repository and you can check the video description for that. I also have a basic spinner as well as an array adapter that I'm setting on a spinner. In order to listen into changes when the user selects a new item from our spinner, we're going to say spinner, the spinner object, dot set on item selected listener. And inside we're going to pass a new instance of adapter dot on item selected listener. So this is an interface that implements two methods. One of the callback methods on item selected is triggered whenever the user changes the selected item. So this is the method that we're interested in. And if you remember from the previous tutorial, the way that we get the selected item is by saying string new item equals spinner that gets selected item. And this gives us an object. But since our list contains strings of the states, we're going to say dot get selected item dot to string. So this is how you would get the latest item. And now to display this, we'll say toast dot get make text get application context. You selected and then I'll say new item. And finally, the length of the toast should be toast length long dot show. And I can run this in the app. Upon running the app, you can see that um, over here when it launches, when I select a new state like New, uh, new York over here, it says you selected New York. If I select another one like California, it says you selected California. And this all happens without us having to go and click the button. There is something I would like to add about the on item selected method, and that's two of its parameters. So I want to explain what this view parameter as well as the I over here are. So uh, before I do that, I'm going to explain the array adapter really quickly. What the array adapter does is it takes this list of items or elements that we're providing it with. And for each of these elements in the list, it's going to create a new view for that element inside of our spinner. So for example, I have the spinner here and I have the list of items. For each of these items has its own view. So the Texas has its own view, CA has its own view, so does WA, and all of these. When we select an item, this on item selected method uh, is going to be called, and this view object over here is equal to the view of the currently selected item. So if I select California, the view object is going to be equal to California's view. Similarly, int i over here is the currently selected position. So Texas is in position 0, California is in position 1. Uh, New York is in position 3, and uh, so if I were to select New York, I is going to be equal to 3. Using this information, instead of saying spinner.getSelectedItem.toString to get our currently selected item, we could also use this int i over here, which once again tells us which position is currently selected. And because we have this list of states over here, we could say new item equals states.get and then use this position i. And you would see that this also gives us the expected results. So in this tutorial, you learned how to get the selected item in a spinner every time that the user selects a new item. Next time, you'll learn how to create a custom layout for your spinner.